hello guys today we're gonna look at how to do a udp method in Verilog Xilinx design suite so udp is a user defined primitive it is similar to the defining a gate primitive but instead of gates we are defining a truth table over here so let's start with understanding what is udp so first of all i would like to say that this is the circuit for some previous tutorial you can grow, go through it and see how some basic logics and works on the Verilog uh, uh, platform so first learn the those base, basic codes implementing the codes and then you come to the user defined primitive method so i'm taking one of the example of a two in two by one mux so here you can see that uh, the same mux can be uh, implemented using a logic primary gates available in the structural or gate level programming in a very low code but uh, also it can also be implemented using a truth table and here you can see a truth table so for all the inputs uh, if they are zero then uh, the output supposed to be input uh, one and uh, if the selected lines are input as uh, 1 then the output is supposed to be i0 input 0 okay now we'll see how you can define a primitive in the code part so first you will define input and some input and output variables whatever you are taking then you will define a table in under which you will define this truth table and all the possible inputs and output combination you will add this table and this primitive and then use this primitive in the module so i have already implemented some logics uh, for um, the mux in this uh, design suit you can see this so here you can see that uh, first uh, let me zoom it in a bit first we are defining a primitive and uh, I am defining output, input as a control line and D1, D2 as my two input combinations. Then I will define what is the output and what is the input variables I am taking. And then I will define a table in which uh, I am taking one example for control line selected or selected line as a 1 and 1 as a 0. So here we are learning one new symbol that is a question mark. So question mark here means either it is 0 or either it is 1. If the input line is 1, D1 is selected that you are defining in your table. And if the input line is um, 0, if the input line is 0, then your d2 is to be selected so here we can make some changes whatever d1 is there d2 is supposed to be reflected at the output and then in a similar way we can give one more logic one so d1 will be selected and whatever is the d2 it will be not affect the output so we'll take d1 as the output and that is 0. So in a similar manner you can give many input uh, combination in the, under this table. So the table ends when you are done with defining a truth table then you will end the table and then you will end the primitive. And then you will define this uh, primitive into a module. So for that the name of the module should be same. I, uh, you can take any uh, random name for the primitive module so module name should be same and uh, under the so or the variable number of uh, inputs and output should be same so mux is the output so control 1 and d1 d2 is the uh, are the inputs so these names can be changed but the number of input variables and output variable should remain same so my output is mux and my input is control 1 and d1 and d2 and then I am defining this primitive under this uh, module and same line will come with the same number of input and same number of output and then will end my end module then we will see run it and synthesize it 
So it is running and uh, one thing you need to note is that uh, the UDP code is not synthesizable. You cannot synthesize it. So you are defining it directly using a truth table. Not, none of the gates are defined under this. So it is not synthesizable. You will not have any RTL view for this. That, uh, that is why it is uh, you are giving one support uh, error line that unsupported switch or UDP. Uh, for this um, level for this um, tool so but still you need to synthesize to check if uh, you are getting some an another syntax error like such as semicolon or uh, you must have missed uh, defining it input and output in some ports then it is supposed to be synthesized to check the errors now we will see um, how we are getting this uh, are uh, waveforms so we'll simulate it and see the waveforms for this udp method so mind this very well i'm giving control as one and i'm applying it i'm giving d1 as one lying it okay and uh, d2 as zero i'll apply it okay let's see for control one what should be the output for control one d1 should be the output let's see if we are getting the same thing over here or not we'll run it so d1 is the output yes at the output mux we are getting d1 so in a similar way you can check for control line 0 also let's see 0 as a control line apply ok and then uh, let's keep d1 as it is and change d2 to, uh, to to 0 only let's keep it as it is input same but we are changing control line from 0 to 1 then we'll see run it okay so for 0 okay now here is the catch you need to see that why we are getting 0 so for 0 as the control line and d1 as 1 and d2 as 0 have you defined it in the table no 0 as a control and d2 as a 1 it is not defined right that is the why that is the reason why you are getting output as x it is not defined not defined output let's change it according to the table we are having so for zero selected line the d2 we have defined is one so let's change the d2 from zero to one and then we'll see if we are getting this or not one apply okay and run it yes now we are getting the output right so we'll see that uh, here zero we are getting okay but we need to get uh, d2 but why this is happening because in the table we had defined zero as the output so your whole logic depends upon how you are defining your udp right so if I change it from 0 to 1 because your output supposed to be same as your D2. So now let's see. I'm clo I'll close this. I'll close this and we'll rerun it. Okay. 
I am running it again. Save it and yes. So it is done. Now we'll simulate it. We'll check this time for zero. Select the line. Okay. So I'm getting this. Uh, I'm giving this time zero as a select line. Apply. Okay. Then D1 as anything. So it doesn't matter for it. Apply. Okay. My D2 was 1. Then we'll run it. This time we are getting 1. So output is same as D2. So guys, we have successfully implemented and understand the user-defined UDP method in uh, encoding, coding and uh, very long design suit. So comment me in the comment section below that uh, what other exercise you would like to learn in the very long part. And if in the no next tutorial, we'll bring it on with some new uh, uh, subsections and new topics and methods that are in a very long part and uh, how you can implement your certain logics and um, we will see how quickly you can uh, see all the uh, desired waveform by defining a test bench as well uh, so do like and share and this is very interesting subject and very interesting tool if you are a uh, in an electronic and you know, a design engineer so stay safe guys and stay tuned and uh, let's meet in the next tutorial till then bye thank you thank you so much